Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we did Bub Lane's story, as well as a few minor moons that involved going to other kingdoms. Uh, the reason we decided to do those straight away is to reset this kingdom and make sure everything is loaded properly. Uh, I think everything should be loaded fine, so let's get going. Uh, first thing we're going to do is head up this way. There's some Gokkenbiz you can check out if you want. Uh, at the top of that cliff there, there is another moon. I believe you need a Gushin to climb that high, but let's see if we can do it without one. Hmm, it doesn't look like we can, which is a bit frustrating. So yeah, this little puddle here is enough to refill your Gushin, so basically you want to just go over to that puddle, and you can stock up on water and then you're good to go. Well, I went well. I accidentally did a um, spinning cap throw. Uh, basically, if you want to move at a decent clip on land, you have to be hovering above the land. You can't actually touch it. Uh, I mean, as a gushing. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And whenever you're not in water, you sh like whenever you're not touching the surface of the water, you very quickly consume your water. So it's something to watch out for. So yeah, we just fly up here. Ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, conveniently, collecting a moon actually replenishes your water, which will help us do this next little bit we're about to do, which is flying around here in order to talk to Captain Toad. Put out that fire, there we go. Nice and safe. We can get a moon from Captain Toad. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Thanks, Toad. I guess we'll do like 10 ish moons this time. Uh, Bubbling has a lot of moons to do, so we will take several videos probably. Uh, but that's okay, that's not a problem. Uh... There's a lot of these, um, weird seaweed monsters. There are a couple in Lake Kingdom, but there's a lot here. The music here is really good. Just like in the rest of the game. Because this game has amazing music. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... So yeah, purple coins are littered all over the place here. We're gonna try to grab all of them, but we'll see how we go. We should we should be able to get all of them, I believe. The only ones that were kind of a question mark were the 2D ones, and I don't even think we need to do any frame perfect tricks to get in there. In this particular one. So we should be okay. I'm just gonna get that because it showers us with coins for doing so. Um, this game is wandering around grabbing purple coins at the moment. Uh, these guys are to be carefully watched out for. Just swim above them, and you'll be okay. Uh, there's a moon hidden in this chest here, so. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Three. Uh, you can see there are a lot of cheap cheaps around. You basically intended to use a cheap cheap for most of your swimming needs, but you don't have to. Uh, there's plenty of these little fill up things. Also, to do this timer challenge here, you cannot capture a cheap cheap because it's a scarecrow. Uh, you basically have to know about fast swimming to get over there quick enough. It's kind of a fast swimming tutorial, really. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Because uh, there's a sign right next to the scarecrow that tells you about fast swimming, so yeah. It's it's the tutorial for being able to do that, essentially. Which is a bit silly. Uh, but, you know, it's nice to have that sort of thing. There's actually a sphinx in this kingdom, it's down here. So we will be talking to the sphinx in order to get the two moons from it. Ow! Uh. B 
but yeah, you are supposed to use a fish to swim around all here, which makes it much easier because you don't have limited air. Um, but we're just going to do it with Mario for now. Hello, Sphinx. The name of this land. Oh gosh, where are we? Oh, I have no idea. Oh gosh, it must be Bubblane. As usual, you go talk to the Sphinx again to answer a few more questions and get another moon that way. Uh, four. Uh, interesting. Um, it usually says Joy-Con there, but because I'm using a Pro Controller, it says Pro Controller. Uh, the clothing is the resort outfit. Um, which we don't have yet, but it's, it's what you need to wear in this, this kingdom to do that. Uh. There we are, job done. All we got to do is accept the moon. Yeah! And we can also go down to the tunnel underneath the Sphinx to get another moon, of course. Uh, you can see a seed there, which we'll be collecting in order to plant. This room is underwater at... Ba -da -ba. Yeah, so you can actually drown down here, even though you're just in a treasure room that to be completely harmless and mean nothing. Um, so that's kind of a weird gimmick. Uh, here, you can grab this seed. Um, you can't actually use a fish to do this, so the air meter does matter a bit. Uh, and we are quite deep down and accidentally ground pounded, which isn't good. Basically, you, you want to swim, 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 and hopefully not take any damage. Uh, I think we might, we, we'll make it in time. Yeah, we did. Okay, uh, so yeah, the seeds, we need to take them all over to the same spot, which is on top of the, uh, costume room, basically. Uh, this what, this life up part is still here, you can just get it forever, which is kind of funny, considering that the boss is gone now, so there's not really a reason for it. There we go. Basically, to pick up these, you have to be in the air, because if you're crouching, you can't pick them up. Thankfully, you can pick them up in the air, so just jumping on it does the trick. You can see there's another seed right there, so I'll be planting that one as well. There are four of them in this kingdom, so... We've done one already, so we're making good progress. Uh, there's the costume room down there. Uh, we don't have the outfit yet. Uh, but once we have the outfit, we will be going in there to have a look around. Unfortunately, that's one of the less um, interesting ones. There isn't really a challenge in there, it's just go in and get a moon, basically. Uh, the beach volleyball is over there. We're not going to do it this video, but basically it's just like the jump rope challenge. You have to do a hundred returns to get both the moons. Um, it's a little harder to cheese than the jump rope challenge. You can't just do a glitch and then have a nap. Um, but it's, it is fairly easy to cheese and we will be cheesing it because that's how I roll. <laughs> Can we get up here as just Mario? I feel like we probably can. Yep, yeah we can. Okay. Uh, let's just try that again. I believe this room involves using a gush in anyway, so you're probably supposed to use a gush in to get in there, but we didn't, because we're, we're cool that way. Actually, we may have already done this. Let's see. No, we haven't. Okay, so yeah, this is a gushin based challenge. I believe you can't do the actual challenge without using one. Basically, you want to try to hover kind of far using the Gushins. Which is a bit tricky because of the limited water supply. Uh, I think there might be some purple coins in here, I don't remember. Is this the right spot or if you that somewhere else? Uh, 
And yeah, it changes from a bottomless pit to poison. I don't really understand why, because it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, I guess just to make it a bit tighter to move. So yeah, this is the one that's kind of hard to reach. You have to manage to hover all the way and make it hit with enough water. Um, usually don't jump out of the gushing to do it, but that clearly, clearly works. Uh, the easy one, you just go down this hole here. And the moon is just down here in this, this watery pit. Which is really, really far down because that means you can't use a gushing to climb back up. And therefore she's the challenge of the second moon. Um, but yeah, they're both very easy. Yeah! How are we doing? Eight? We could probably do about two more. <laughs> I believe a moon shows up up there later, but it might be in the inside the moon rock or something. Uh, there are some purple coins on top of these coin blocks. You can see the shadows. Um, but to get up there, you basically need to use a gushin, so I'll go grab one. So maybe you don't need to use a gushin. No, that looks way too high to get up otherwise. There we go. Pretty easy. Um, you can see that there's a moon basically hovering above that, um, that jury over there. You pretty much have to take your gushing over and then hover above Dory in order to reach it. So I'm gonna do that now. You're gonna scare this fellow who's standing there, but you know, whatever. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, there's another moon on the other Dory. There's actually a, a yellow one and a purple one because of the two shops. Uh, but you don't need a Gushin for the other one, so I won't be using one. Uh, there's also a checkpoint down here that you can get. There are a bunch of underwater checkpoints in this in this area, which is good because swimming's a bit slower than normal movement. And it's kind of annoying. I'm not really sure what these rocket flowers are for. You can't use them for very much. Oh, we also already got the one on, on this story. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is the one that we can get the outfit from, which we will be buying. Uh, there are two outfits you can get here. I don't think this one serves any purpose. Uh, but this one is how you enter that room that we want to get into. So I'm going to put that on just so we can do that. There we go. Mario is ready to relax. <laughs> uh, there's another seed over there. That that should be the last one, I think. I think we already have the other three in place. So I'm just going to grab this. And yeah, when you're holding it, you don't crouch, so it cancels out that part of the game, really. Um, it's also a bit harder to get to high places when you're holding one because you can't do cap cappy things like bounces. I think you can swim normally, yeah. I don't think you can fast swim though. Uh, and yeah, you can't throw Cappy because you're holding the seed in both hands for some reason. Seems like you could probably hold that in one hand. I don't think it's very heavy. It doesn't like prevent you from doing all the weird jumps and stuff you normally do. Anyway. Just gotta slowly make your way over to where you want to plant it. I suppose if I like threw it and then chased after it, I might be able to go a little bit faster. Probably not much faster though. Yeah, I took the quiz in the bottom of the ocean already. There's dropping hints about the Sphinx being there, obviously. Um, but we already did that, so we're all good. Yeah, I would love to, thanks. Oops. 
Uh, yeah, these will grow on their own. We can speed it up by getting a gush in and spraying them, but we can just leave them here. And we probably will, just so we can get to go do some other stuff. There we go. So, we're wearing the, wearing the right outfit now, so I'm going to show you what's in this room. Uh, unfortunately for us, what's in this room happens to be essentially the same thing as in uh, Tostarina. Tostarina's costume room. You have to stand in this spot and do a little dance with these, uh, these friends here. Which we can't do because we're permanently crouching. So this moon is out of our reach, just like Bench Friends and just like Tostarina's Dancing with New Friends moon. Sadly. But hey, we've got a cool outfit out of the deal. <laughs> uh, will we buy the other outfit as well? Um, not because we need it, just because I think it's cute. Uh, and we have enough money for it, so we may as well. Since this money doesn't do anything else, besides buy souvenirs and stuff. Uh, okay, let's go to this 2D section. I think there are two moons in here. And I think there might be a third one once you unlock the moon rock. I don't quite remember, honestly. Um, basically, the 2D section, you can't drown when you're in it because you're no longer underwater, technically. It's kind of weird. But yeah, there's a couple of moons you can grab here. There's one, and I can face the other way, I think, so I can just get under there. Can I not get under there? Should be able to, right? Yes. You can see there's some purple coins up there we'll be grabbing shortly. If I can make manage to jump up high enough, I should be able to. Okay, um... Yeah, there we go. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's head over here, I reckon. Okay, that's not a good one to enter with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, remember, you can't actually pick up the shells in this game. It's like in Mario 1. I believe you couldn't do it in Mario 1 either. Uh, this area is just a bunch of coins that you can enjoy. Um, not much point entering through that pipe if you actually want to get anything out of this. Apart from some coins. Um, coins are nice, though. Okay, so this is probably the most useful pipe to enter through. Um, so you can see, directly like below us, quite far down, there is just a block sitting there. Uh, there's a reason for that. There is a moon hiding down there, which we want. So, we will be trying to get that. Um, all right, the bridge. I forgot to do the coin bridge. Um, okay, okay. Precision, precision jump. Yep. Yeah. The way that you do that is you knock down that turtle there and have it break the block, basically. Um, we might need to do a frame perfect thing through that pipe. Maybe not, though. We'll see how we go. Also, yeah, we have a full outfit again, so Mario's got a cute sprite instead of just a normal one. Oh no, do I have to Do I have to use two play modes to get onto that pipe? That's, that's super annoying. I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> Oh my god. You're all sick of the jump noise. Yeah, I'm trying to skid off this edge so I can turn around, but I'm having a bit of trouble. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, you hit your head here, so you can't build up momentum very readily. 
Okay, there we go. Whew. It's like basically the most useful one to enter, so is this one over here. go this direction. I believe if we turn around we can get through there. I might need to get a bit more of a skid rather than hitting the wall first. There we go. So you hit that, it breaks that block for you. We can now go down here and get this move. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I'm not sure we can get back out, because we can't skid backwards. Uh, we may need to warp out instead. Uh, to get the other moon, we basically have to... Can I get the camera to face that way? Uh, that's annoying. Uh, yeah, I think we have to warp back out, because we can't actually turn around. So let's just warp over... Uh, glass pass is nice and close. To get the other moon, we have to basically uh, go below where the moon should be, hit a few blocks to make a coin bridge, um, and then go through again and walk on the coin bridge. So we start with this spot because it's the most useful one to actually get anywhere. Um, so yeah, as you can see, past the two green coopers, there's like a hole. Ow. So we just drop down here. We can make a coin bridge, as you can see. So what we're going to do is make a coin bridge, then we're going to go in that pipe and just repeat what we just did, basically, in order to get on top of that coin bridge we just made. Facing the wrong way, it's kind of slow, but we can make our way through here easily. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okay, we'll use the pipe itself to turn around, because otherwise... Oh no! Okay, the moon turned us around, that's interesting. And we're done down there. I think there's like a notes thing in that area later, but we haven't unlocked that yet. So we won't be doing it. Until we do unlock it. At which point we will be doing it, of course. <sighs> I'm getting kind of sleepy. Um, see if I can grab a couple more moons, and then I might be done for this video. Hey, the race! Let's do the race. Uh, basically, the race here is you want to get up to there, where the... Um, it's kind of hard to tell where I'm pointing, but the cliffside moon there, the of the four seals, the one that we did the first time we visited. You have to get up to there, from basically where we are now. Uh, basically, basically what you want to do is get a Gushin and use it to get up. Uh, it's not too hard, it's, it's relatively easy. Um, especially the first round. Oh yeah, but you actually start deep underwater and you have to swim up first, so... You want to get a fish for that, because fish, fish are much faster than regular swimming. Uh. Oh no, and you don't want to uncapture your fish for no reason because that, that's going to slow you down. As you can see, just capturing that fish has actually given me oops, a decent head start until I messed up and did that. So yeah, you just want to switch to a gush and... Oh no, and not decapture it. I don't know why that's happening. I think maybe using like a rocket flower might be even faster, but um, you can't use them underwater, so I'm not sure where you would use them. And then all you gotta do is uh, just fly your way over like this, and suddenly you're coming in first and it's easy. I messed that up a whole lot, and it still went super well. So, yeah, that's not a hard race at all. I believe all of the Coopers there go through the canyon, but the gold one might know about the other way of doing it. 
Yeah. Uh, there'll be a bunch of people celebrating here now, hanging out at the hot spring. I've got most of the purple coins here, we're making good progress, so that's cool. I mean, no, you did, you wear a suit. <laughs> what are you doing here wearing a suit? <laughs> oh my god. Um... There is a capless challenge here, but it's underwater, so the fact that we're crouching won't affect it, so it'll probably just be the normal playthrough, basically. Uh, I won't do it right now. Uh, this isn't it, this is something else. I forget what, though. <laughs> oh, this room! Okay, uh, this is basically another... It's, it's capture-based, you're supposed to use this uproot. I don't know if you can do it without the uproot. Let's find out. Uh, I think you probably can. Alright. Uh, that's not good. So yeah, you get the idea. You want to try to get up the lava without this happening. Um. Okay, um, but yeah, I think we can do this without using an uproot. So let's, go tr let's try to do that. Basically, we just have to climb to the top. Uh, I think there might be something up here. Mm, doesn't look like it. The lava doesn't start rising until you've gone up the first ledge, thankfully. Uh, you can just break the blocks, actually, rather than doing a cat bounce. So, that's an option. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Like, it's embarrassing, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, I did surprisingly well with one health just then, but this is definitely possible. It looks like they've built it to make that to be possible, but much harder than doing it with the uproot. Which is good, because that's what I want to do. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> okay. Okay, I reckon once I've done this challenge room, that's it for this video, because we're about 30 minutes in. That just seems like a good length. But yeah, what you're supposed to do is capture the uproot, and then you have to dodge the spiky things by uprooting over them, which is annoying. Uh, as you might expect. Oh my god. <laughs> I can do this, I can do this. I, I might want to give myself an extra bit of health. Just to simplify things a little. That's really just a time saver because the um, wipe-up part in this kingdom is basically free anyway. You, get out of the way. There we go. Ah. Okay, I think if I take damage at all, I'm pretty much doomed because the, da the damage time is so long that the lava is going to hit me again. Uh, let's see how we go. Yay! 
Yeah, if I touch the lava, I'm just gonna keep bouncing off it because you don't gain the ability to cap throw until quite a bit later. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oops. I am gonna do that. I don't. I don't think it's actually really helping that much. Yeah, bonking against those walls is not helping. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot of damage boosting, Mario. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with the heart, actually. I'm just gonna try again without it. This is, this is a little quicker than having to use the amiibo. So yeah, the lava's going up quite quickly, so you don't have much time for mistakes here. Um. Oh, damn it. That's not good. Yeah, those blocks are interrupting the cap jump, so it's making it a lot harder to get up there. I think they're there to make it easier, but they're not. They're making it harder. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was terrible. That was, that was really, really bad. I don't remember where the other moon is in this area either. Uh, I think there's just one along the path somewhere, and just a little bit trickier to go that way than the other way, maybe? Cause yeah, if you <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's going pretty well except for that, which isn't so great. Oh, damn it. That's probably the furthest I've got. Like, I don't think I've got any fur farther than that. I've gotten that far a couple of times, but it's really not farther than that. <sighs> Seriously? I'm gonna have a lot of trouble saving up to buy that gown. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Ah, the timing was messed up because of that first one, so the second one didn't work out the way it should have done either.
See, it only starts rising once you've done the first platform, so you can actually... Ow! No! I'm having the problems. So I think I should just use the uproot and do it the intended way, but I really want to do it like this. I'm just losing so much time every time I bonk because the Mario takes so dang long to stand up. And the whole island is sinking so fast. I was hoping to skip this platform, but no, this is too hard to do that. Okay, okay, let's try again. I'm getting kind of sloppy playing for this amount of time. I might need, I definitely need to take a break after this one. Yeah, this is definitely possible without using an uproot. It's just very hard without using an uproot. <laughs> like most things that involve uproots, actually. Um, for example, uh, the maze and all that you can do. Actually, that's not even hard without an uproot, but this is. Oh my goodness. Because you basically need a whole bunch of really precise jumps really, really fast. As usual in this run, trying to do things really, really fast is hard. Uh, it's it's our main weakness, basically, that we can't do things quickly. Damn it! Damn it. <sighs> I, I'm absolutely convinced this can be done and I will not rest until I've done it. <laughs> Really, really precise and tricky. Oh no, how do you reach that moon without an uproot? Oh no! I think it might be impossible to get both rooms without an uproot. Oh! Okay, okay, uproot. Come on, come on, uproot. Let's have a look. So, yeah, what you're supposed to do is use the uproot just to climb up like this. 
gonna take hits because I don't care. I don't want to do it this way. I'm annoyed that it apparently is mandatory. Because yeah, the moon is up way up there. Uh, maybe that's reachable. But yeah, you go much, much faster on your way up with the upper, as you can see. The lava is really far away. But I want to do it with Mario. I don't want to do it with an uproot. It actually stops rising at that point. You always get that moon if you make it to the top. Don't have to worry about grabbing it fast or anything. Okay, I think I may be able to reach both moons. It's just, it's just going to be really hard to reach that second one fast enough. Or which I mean the first one, because it's actually earlier in the, in the area. <sighs> but yeah, you can see it's really, really easy with an uproot, and I just, I just really want to do it with that one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this video is 40 minutes long. Okay, I'll try like twice more, two good attempts at doing it this way, and if I don't pull it off, I'll do it with the upper just to avoid making the video ridiculously long. Okay, so yeah, two two more good attempts, and then I'll just do it with the uproot. I'm really disappointed though. That's not a good start. I don't think this counts as a good attempt, but we'll see how we go. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah, this is an awful attempt. This doesn't count as a good attempt. Seriously? Okay, that's one good attempt. I just suck. <laughs> one more try. If this is a decent attempt that still fails, then we will do it with the other. So disappointed though. Okay, this is a garbage attempt. Um, oh my god. Garbage attempt doesn't count. Doesn't count. One more good attempt. Whoa, broke all four of those with one cap throw. That's that's pretty exciting. That, that was a decent attempt. That's that's it. I'm using the uproot. And I'm really disappointed. I just don't want the video to get so long. <sighs> or maybe I'll try again later on without without an uproot and see if I can manage it. Because yeah, with the uproot, it's very, very easy. 
and of course unaffected by our challenge because we're not crouching because we're in a capture as you can see it's like no difficulty here even getting the moon ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. yeah see easy Oh well. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. So yeah, if you do it with an uproot, this area is very, very easy. If you do it without an uproot, this area is incredibly hard. <laughs> um, I'll give it another look later. Uh, maybe, maybe off camera, I'll just give it a shot and see if I can manage it. Uh, but for now, that's all we're doing. I just, I just want this video to get too ridiculously long. It's already 46 minutes. We spent so many coins in there. Anyway, uh, some purple coins over there. I'm really, really disappointed I ended up doing it that way. Oh well. Anyway, I was gonna cash in these moons and that'll be a video. Fourteen moons is a pretty decent count. As you can see, 30 out of 52, so we have another 21 to get because... No, 20. We have 20 more to get, so probably 10 in... To two videos, ten each, something like that. Uh, because one of them's impossible, and one of them I'm going to do on the B side. There's also a secret path, actually, which we have to do from a different area. Uh, we can do it from here. I might try to do it from here. Basically, what you have to do is get a gush and go to there where that moon is, grab the moon, which refills your water and then fly all the way over to that really high ledge you can see there. Not the one with the rocket, the one that's higher. Uh, and it's possible to fly all the way up there and get the moon without actually uh, going through the other side of the painting, basically. This is what you get for putting your moon in an area that... Oh, hang on. I might get these three over here. Yeah! Okay, so we 15 to 17 moons in one video. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! I'm still really disappointed about that sub area though. Yeah! I'll go cash these in. Because. Yeah, like you could tell that it was doable. It was just really, really hard. Because doing things fast with our restrictions is extremely challenging. <sighs> Cash in these three moons. Blop. So yeah, we're at 33 out of 52. We can only actually get like 49. Uh... I mean, we can get more. Um, we might do the we might do the secret path from this end and see if we can manage it. Uh, the uh, one inside the costume room is definitely impossible, and the uh, talking to Peach one we're going to do in the B side because it's basically the B side. It just happens to not be inside a moon rock, even though it basically is B side. Oh. I, I'm really disappointed about that one we couldn't, that I couldn't pull off because that sub area is absolutely doable without capturing a gushin, not a gushin. It's completely doable without capturing a gushin because there aren't any gushins in it. But without capturing an uproot, it is possible to do that area and I'm really sad that I couldn't pull it off. Anyway, uh, check out all that cool furniture and stuff. Um, like, th there are those little, uh, nesting doll thingies. And if you bloop them, they actually, like, unnest, as you can see. They, they nest differently. Uh, so that's pretty fun. Um, 
it's probably the most interactive of the souvenirs we get since it's like a toy that when you bop it like this it actually does what it's supposed to do whereas a lot of these other ones you just bop them and they just move around a little bit and not do much Oh, this one's pretty funny. Since the pyramid is floating and all that. It's interesting because you can actually, I believe, buy this um, inverted pyramid that's floating before the real inverted pyramid starts floating. Uh, I believe there's enough purple coins to do that. Which would cause an interesting paradox if you think about it. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, anyway, there's a mirror. You can see a frog in the mirror. I, I guess I guess that makes sense, like, because the camera's coming in from this side, the mirror's sort of angled at a bit of a 90 degree angle to the angle we're at, and so you can see stuff that's in this direction. I, I guess it makes sense. I don't know, it, it doesn't quite look right to me. Anyway, oh, that's it for this video that ended up being pretty long because I tried to do a challenge and couldn't, and I'm sad about that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and next time we'll be getting a bunch more minor moons here. And let me see. Um, okay, so we can get 49, so that would be another 16. But we'll probably do the rest of them in the next video. Um... The A-side ones, that is. We'll probably do them all in the next video. Uh, and then the B-side ones will be in the video after that. So, uh, look forward to that. Um, hopefully, I won't have to give up on my challenges next time. We'll see how we go. Anyway, we're spinning this here inverted pyramid model. Interestingly, it looks like it's spinning continuously, but it's... Like, it looks a bit like that. It actually is actually resetting every time Mario bops it. Uh, you can see the entrance is on that side, but if you bop it, it looks like it's it looks like it's spinning and spinning and spinning, but the entrance never comes back, because every time you bop it, it resets the spin. Which is an interesting quirk, I think. It's also interesting that it spins at all, because the real inverted pyramid does not spin. Oh, the railroad pyramid also doesn't hover, so maybe they were thought, let's make a hovering, spinning version of our pyramid that does neither of those things. And then it started doing one of those things. Which kind of baffled everyone. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway, that's enough rambling out of me. Uh, that's the end of this video. Next time, we'll be probably getting the rest of the A-side moons in this kingdom. Thanks for watching.